This is a new M4 MacBook Pro. Today I'm going to be doing an in-depth review on the video editing capabilities of it. Let's get into it. Right here, I have the M4 Pro MacBook Pro. It comes with 16 cores of integrated GPU and 10 cores of CPU. It has 24 gigabytes of unified memory, and this specific one has 512 gigabytes of solid state drive. start off with, we're going to start with Premiere Pro. This is professionally what I use to edit with, and it is my favorite, but that does not mean it is the best. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scrub through the timeline here, and it, it works great. I mean, I am used to an M1 MacBook Air, and on that, you know, it did, it did fine. But on here, I've noticed with exporting things, specifically, it is just way faster. Okay, that's enough for Premiere. We are going to After Effects. I primarily use the Roto Brush in After Effects, so that's mainly what I'm going to be testing. When freezing in After Effects, it goes by way faster than on a much older computer. But let's find out by just how much. So here is a five second clip of me dancing around and an After Effects on the M4. It took around this amount of time. Okay, enough with that, we are going to get into Final Cut Pro. So I must admit that I have never used Final Cut Pro before, so I am using the trial version, but it shouldn't make too much of a difference. So what I did here and what I will also be doing for DaVinci is I already have a project and what I'm just going to do is pull in a video and I'm going to add a bunch of effects to it. Uh, and then I'm going to render out both of them on the M4 and also on the M1 and sort of see what's the difference between the two things. So for Final Cut, the M4 got a time around this, while the M1 got a time around this. And that is just crazy. Okay, jumping into DaVinci Resolve. I also have never used this before. I've heard that the color grading is really impressive on it. So I think I am going to test some of that out. So what I did is I imported a video and I duplicated it a bunch of times and you know changed things, sharpened some stuff up, did the exact same on both computers and exported them. And here are the results. Okay, next up, this one is less video editing but it's Blender, I think it still applies here. Um, if you don't know what it is, it's a 3D animating software. Um, so I'm just gonna load up a project here that I am making for my 500 the subscriber special. Um, so be sure to watch out for that. And what I'm going to do is render out around 250 frames of this and just compare the differences again. I also noticed that between these two, that just moving around in the program, it was way faster on the M4 compared to the M1. Okay, moving on to OBS. This one, um, if you've recently seen the last video that I made, uh, which was Breath of the Wild, but every enemy is Dark Beast Ganon, um, I used OBS to actually record all of that. And I think that it's really important to be able to understand what kind of performance you're going to be getting with multiple apps running. Um, so while doing this test, I had the game, which was Breath of the Wild, it's a Zelda game, running, um, as well as OBS recording, and then I had a bunch of other things like Safari running in the background, and all of this. Thank you so much for your time. Goodbye.